All right. As I check in on, holy crap. Wow. I walked away for two minutes and our hot dogs, let's just show what happened to the hot dogs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And now I'm gonna cook some ribs. <laughs> do that kind of in a hurry I don't know if you can tell get the outside of that got a thunderstorm cook coming so uh, I'm making spare ribs but they're gonna have to get cooked at a higher temperature not this high but high so the spare ribs have been cut and seasoned I cut that top part off it has that gristle still here Gave the gristles to the dogs. My wife seasoned it. Only a light coat of, uh, let me show you the seasoning here. This Uncle Chris gourmet seasoning. It's like a steak seasoning. We use it for everything. Only using a light coat of that because I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna sauce them. And in the meantime, check out this hot dog. Ketchup, mustard, but the kick, the Vlasic bread and butter chip pickle game changer if you're not eating your hot dogs like this you're not eating your hot dogs so yeah now we're gonna get the chicken something i normally don't do a film review at the request of my good buddy isaac godzilla king of the monsters 2 went to go see it over the weekend loved it ton of action the plot wasn't that good but neither are any of the godzilla movies other than 2014 so from a movie like movie wise it wasn't as good as 2014 entertainment value i think it was a lot better there's so much more action uh probably the most action i've seen in any movie in a number of years so i was surprised at that um kind of cheesy a little cheesy but all of the godzilla movies are if you're a fan of the godzilla movies the dude in the suit you'll love this one um, they did him justice. They paid homage to a lot of the old Godzilla movies. You will pick up on some of those things. There was a lot of that. They brought back some old school monsters. They don't want to ruin anything. But it really felt like the Godzilla movies that I watched growing up on VHS, of course. I wasn't alive in the 50s and 60s. But uh, they paid, you know, they did Godzilla some justice with this movie. They segued into Godzilla vs. Kong. Overall, I like it. It was a great Godzilla movie. Maybe not that much that good of a movie, but it was a great Godzilla movie. Take your kids. They'll love it. You'll love it. That's my review. All right, just checking in with the ribs. This has been going for a few hours. Highest temperature was about 300. I've been keeping it around 275. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken. Camera lady, what did you use? Kicking chicken. She used kicking chicken on that. Anything else? Uncle Chris. Kick kicking chicken and Uncle Chris's steak seasoning. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. And some of them are gonna get the sauce, some of them aren't. The ribs are gonna get the sauce. Get the sauce. And uh, so yeah, camera lady who got a new haircut and it kind of feels like I got like a new girlfriend, you know. Like a, I got my wife, no. but I got like a new girlfriend with short hair. She no. comes on and like no. season with chicken and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, no. So the wings are looking pretty good. They got a nice color on them. Here pretty soon, I'm gonna start checking temperature. Probably not done just yet. But uh, once I get around 165, that's when I'm going to go ahead and put the sauce on the ones that are getting it and uh, go from there. Won't be long. You going to come in? I'm going to smoke through it. Okay. All right, so I've got this uh, <laughs> Head Country barbecue sauce. It's a real thin sauce. I'm going to flip the ribs back over. 
accidentally uh, I broke them a little bit earlier. I'm gonna sauce that top earlier, but I'm just gonna give it one more coat. And I'll let them sit maybe a few more minutes, maybe like five minutes, if that. And then I'll go ahead and pull them off. The chicken's done now. So I'm gonna pull that off now. Let them sit maybe 10, 20 minutes. Maybe not even that long. Pretty hungry. Yeah. We're gonna eat this chicken. Cause it's raining. Before the storm comes. I think so far, me versus the storm, I've won so far. Oh, there's raindrops. <laughs> Chicken's done, ribs are done, some of the chicken sauce. Alright, chicken sauce, ribs are sauced, some of the chicken sauce. Anyways, came out looking good, pretty satisfied with it from that aspect. So right now I'm going to go ahead and cut into the ribs, carve them up, and then try them out. Okay, the ribs cut up, really happy with how they look, really happy with the texture, the tenderness. Um, if you take a look right here, pretty good looking smoke ring. And now, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try this one. It looks really good. Yeah, it tastes really good. If you're hearing that, it's my one and a half year old son. But the ribs are really good. And I'm going to try the chicken too. Again, the only thing my wife put on here was that kicking chick kickin chicken rub, and I put some more uh, sauce on. Really good. Got a really good smoke flavor on there. That was the first thing I tasted. Uh, Followed that with the sauce. Everything turned out pretty good. So that's a pretty good combo. I'll probably go back to that. And again, the sauce is this Head Country uh, uh, Apple habanero, habanero. So that was a good combo. I'll probably go back to that. So overall, yeah, other than the uh, hot dog incident of 2019, <laughs> things were pretty good. Storm held up. Things came together. Thanks for watching. Just a little dark, you know, a little, uh, a little crisp. I'm not eating it. All right.